And you have decided to watch a video by the Irish Phone Runner. Hi, I'm the Irish Phone Runner. And uh, today I'm going to make a topic uh, based on um, the difference between humans and animals in our minds. We, uh, we tend to say that it's humane to uh, shoot an animal dead uh, because it's painless, apparently. And that, that seems humane, it's the way to go, thumbs up. But for uh, if you were to shoot a human dead, it's generally not seen as humane. Uh, I'll give an example. In, um, in Ireland in 1916, there was an event called the Easter Rising, and the, uh, there's these uh, Easter Rising leaders who went to, against authority, they went against the British rule, whatever. I haven't done a huge amount of research, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. And, you know, they're causing trouble. They wanted to. They wanted to, well, because Britain were at war, Ireland wanted to try to. Uh, get independent somehow. I don't know. I haven't done the re full research. But anyway, these uh, these leaders were uh, mostly executed. Um, they were sh shot dead. And people, the Irish people didn't sit back and say, oh, well, that's okay. The British um, murdered those people humanely. I mean, it's not like they were really aggressive or anything. They were just humanely. I mean, they, they, they humanely just killed them with the gun. Sure, you know, that's that's perfectly fine. I mean, you know, so we have to pledge our allegiance to the British Empire. We have to, um, this isn't what happened, by the way, but, oh, we have to become, uh, have even better relationships with them. We need to, um, uh, certainly not uh, go into a policy of isolation and just shut off our borders and try to be self-sufficient. No, no, we just, we'd be good friends with the Brits. Yeah, that's what we'll do. No, that's not what happened because humans don't see be getting shot as humane. It's only humane if animals get shot. Humans get shot, it's, it's, it's a terrible crime. And um, that's, that's the way it is. You know, humans' lives aren't, uh, uh, animals' lives aren't seen as the same as ours and they're just, it's just like they don't matter, sure. So what, they're going extinct, so what, sure. You know, so what, we, Humans, uh, they get uh, tortured and killed in uh, these slaughterhouses. So what do we do? We just we just eat them. Yeah, we just buy them. We eat them casually. We don't care. But then if when well, there's seven half billion people, okay, I'm gonna check the population of the world now in line here. Oh, I always have this computer on. Okay. Population of the world. Alright, so there is a uh, 7.347 billion. Oh, that's 2015. Jesus, that's out of date. Population of the world, 2017. Uh, the world population is estimated to have reached uh, 7.5 billion uh, on the 24th of uh, April 2017, uh, 21 minutes past 4 UTC. Not sure what that means. The United uh, Nations estimated it will further increase to 11.2 billion. In the year uh, two thousand one hundred, so yeah, seven and a half billion people in the world, and you know, sure, there'd be eleven point two billion, or should be eleven point two billion. That's only a guess, I guess, uh, by the year twenty one hundred. So, so a human dies, big deal. Who cares? Sure. So what? Your son, daughter, uh, wife, husband dies. I mean. Uh, it doesn't matter really. Sure, seven and a half billion people in the world. You know, because. I think humans are. Uh, uh, we tend to be self-centered. We seem to think we're the only um, uh, living creatures in the world, sure. And we tend to kind of look down on animals. You know, if they die, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Uh, I don't think that's fair. I think there's probably too many people in the world, so surely if people die. It's no big deal, really, is it? You know, if you think about it, because human in, in our minds. It's terrible if one human being dies, but in reality, in the f bigger scale of things, it doesn't matter. It's actually a good thing, probably. Uh, that person will die. They, you know, if they die young, even better. Then they can't um, reproduce and make uh, offspring. Okay, in the bigger scale of things, now, of course, to them that's not good. I mean, I certainly wouldn't like to die. So that's just my own. Um, that's just my own brain, I guess. But in the greater scale of things. The world probably would be better if I, if I were to die.
unless if I were to go on and do great things for the world, but in general it would be a good thing. But um, and, uh, that's the way it is, and uh, that, that's why I've um, I've chosen to go on, to go vegan lately. I'm, I'm not eating any meat or dairy products really, and I think that it's 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 for the best. Uh, I mean. Uh, I've also I've done loads of research. I've uh, researched stuff saying that we're we're, her, we're meant to be herbivores. We're not supposed to eat meat. It's not in our nature. I mean, if you see a dead fox on the side of the road, would you eat it? Um, if I'm talking to a human being, just uh, listen to this. Would you eat it? No, I don't think so. I mean, I've seen dead animals on the road, and no, I didn't see anybody running over and eating them. I mean, if we are omnivores, surely you, why doesn't someone just eat them? Why are you so why are you so stupid not to eat free food in the road? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Because if you do eat it, you probably get sick. You might even die. Because it's, it's raw meat. We're not meant to eat raw meat. And yeah, cooked meat gets rid of all the bacteria. We can eat it then. Uh, it's, it's, it's still not the best. I mean, it's not natural, is it? Um, that's the thing. Why do we have to? Uh, if we touch uh, raw meat or fish with our hands, that's a hand there. Uh, why why is it that we have to wash them straight after like why was that was that just a big concern or why do we need to wear gloves when we're handling it because you know it's not it's a serious health hazard that, that's the way it is so uh, whereas if you were to say just eat an apple you could just with the hand take the apple and just eat it and no problems there you don't need to cook it you don't need to use gloves to wear it or anything like that and yeah, so I think humans are just meant to eat plants, and um, our uh, large intestine is too big to be eating meat. Large intestines are meant to be smaller. For example, the dogs, there are uh, large intestines. Oh, there's dogs there. Oh yes, dogs, omnivores. They eat both plants and animals because they're large intestine is in between the size of a typical herbivore and, and a carnivore so they're omnivores generally and the people and those uh with the smaller intestine they're meant to get rid of all that uh, saturated fat and cholesterol and all that yes yeah, cause cholesterol and all that so uh, yeah, i've gone through this before all that that protein myth you stop you only get protein if from animals and fish, but here's a word for you. I, I think a lot of you haven't heard of before. Quashiorcor. This dog is yeah, This dog's attacking me. Those omnivore eyes. He wants to eat me. <laughs> Crazy dog. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, hey dog. No, no, no. Not now, dog. Not now. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. So where was I? Oh, Jesus. Where was I? Uh, I talked about again. I was talking about uh, oh yeah, the protein of quashi orcor. Have you ever heard of this in Ireland? Quashi orcor. Here it is. Quashi orcor. A form of nutrition caused by protein deficiency in the diet, typically affecting young children in the tropics. Quashi orcor. Images of quashi orcor. Oh yeah, that's. Do you see many uh, people going around like that? Quashi orcor. Uh, yeah, see look, they're all black. They're uh, they have quite your core because they're not getting enough food in general. Let's see it. Look at that. That doesn't look nice. Oh, I don't know many people like that. I'm certainly not like that. Quite your core. It doesn't look nice anyway, though. Enlarged belly. What's that about? The treatment for quite is one of the most common. Enlarged belly. Oh, yeah, so if you've an enlarged belly like that, then you've quite your core. Yeah, I don't see that too much in Ireland. They've got quite your core, unfortunately. Anyway, if you don't eat meat, as I mentioned in my last video, you have a low carbon diet. You're uh, uh, you're helping the world. They say that when you eat meat, somebody else doesn't eat or something like that, because uh, it takes more land to get um, animal to make animal foods than um, plant foods. Uh, that's just the way it is. You can also do other stuff, okay? I'm not just saying it's about meat, no, it's other stuff as well. Quad uh, Yorkor. Those dogs certainly don't have Quad Yorkor. Look how happy they are. <laughs> Sticking his tongue out when he's eating his bone. Okay. 
back to the facts. Yes, that's the thing, I mean. In Ireland, I don't know many people who say that. Oh, I've already mentioned earlier, but I don't know many people who, who uh, look up to the Brits for that when that happened. People that were turned in Ireland were turned against the Brits. I mean, they weren't saying they're such a great bunch of lads because they did it humanely, no. And uh, Eamon de Valera was spared because they were afraid that if they shot him dead, the he, the Americans would get angry. So he was born in America, but sure, if it's so humane, then why would they mind? Why would they care? So, ah, sure, they only shot him, sure. That's humane. They're a great bunch of lads. Sure. There's no reason to get angry. No, that's not the way it works. And rightfully so. But, you know, if that's the way it is with humans and shooting people is bad, then, you know, or seen as wrong, a terrible thing to do. Why is it okay with the, uh, the with animals? I mean, it doesn't add up to me. I mean, sure, what, if you're an omnivore, then just, you know, rip, rip, catch an animal with your natural instincts. Um, rip open their flesh with your claws, not your hands. If you have a hand, you don't eat animals, you're a herbivore. And, uh, yeah, and he ate with the teeth. Canine teeth, do you see that? That's not a canine, see how? That's not sharp at all. It's not sharp enough to cut through animal flesh. So, we're not meant to be eating animals, so. If I were to try to eat those dogs, it wouldn't work, and I won't go to try. It's a part of the family. I don't eat animals. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> dogs these days. And, uh, is there anything else I need to say? Uh, I can't really think of uh, anything else, so this is the end of the video. Please like, share, subscribe, or give a dislike if you want to like to get dislike. And um, this is my video by the uh, the Irish phone owner, and um, thumbs up to everyone.